Hello everyone. My name is Ankush Tiwari and today I am with a new video again. The topic of the video would be how you can develop a BIP report using an OTPI analysis report. So before we start, you must be aware of how individually you can develop an OTPI report also a BIP report. So if you don't know, please go through my previous videos. I have explained a step by step process how we can easily develop a BIP or an OTBI report. So let's begin. <clears throat> First we need a very basic small analysis report, an OTBI report. So uh, as I have already explained in my previous video, we need to do this search. For example, I am going with a small inventory report, tree, I'll go to a corresponding subject area, inventory balance real time. I'll not go with large chunk, no, multiple number of columns. I'll go with basic four to five columns. So, for example, the first column is in an inventory report is item number. I'll search item number. I'll double click on it. Then I'll go with item description. Then, for example, I'll go with <coughs> item status. And then item class. You can add as many columns as you want in as per your requirement. But I'm going with four basic columns: item number, description, item status, status, and item class. I'll go with the result. Once we have the result, we will go for a specific item in order to shorten our search. So meanwhile it is running, it is going to give us an output. So for example, if you want multiple columns with filters etc, you can simply explore this particular area and then uh, go select your corresponding columns and do the double click on it and get it in your report perfect so we have these number of records i'll go with some specific item number for example okay let's copy this item i'll go again to the criteria and put the filter Perfect. So we have one item. I have hard coded the item number. Then I'll go to the advanced section. If in the advanced section you can see SQL issued, we need to go to this particular area. Control A, Control C, and then paste this. Now this is an SQL uh, which is being used behind the OTBI report and especially the report which we are developing as of now. We need to change this particular area to set variable dis disable cache hit one and disable plan cache hit one. I'll put this particular syntax in the description of the video. Once we have this particular scale ready, we need to go to <coughs> from the you, my profile you need to click on administration in the administration well, this particular screen will pop up and then you need to click on issue SQL once you click on SQL you need to copy that particular segment of code which we have derived or we have got it from the back end of OTBI report the Oracle transactional business intelligence server logging level has to be chosen as true in order to get the log, click on is issue SQL. You will be able to see view log. Click on view log. 
we need to do control left the all the sql queries which will be there in this particular area will start with with clause i hope you guys know the importance of with clause if not please uh, keep watch do subscribe my channel i'll be posting some of the videos related to sql and advanced concept of sql we need to select this particular portion from with to you can see order by now i'll copy it into this area as you know that i have hard coded one particular item and it's i and i inventory item id is there we need to simply remove this particular segment entirely but before they before that let's format the report there is, you can choose any online formatter i generally prefer this beautify sql click on beautify and you'll have this particular query copy to clipboard here we go now as you can see that this particular item is being hard coded and we will remove this particular segment because we want the data to come all the entire data should pop, pop, get populated into the report then we will remove this particular filter we need if you want certain number of rows you can keep it or else just remove it as we do in vib report we don't have any limitation based on number of rows or uh, let's say we we don't want then just one particular item into the report so we have the sql query ready now the only limitation is there which solution i am going to show you that the columns will be shown as c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 so you will not be able to identify what are the call what what is this column corresponding to which column as per the database language so we'll go with that we will try to decode it we need to click on c1 okay we will see that what c1 is called in our as per the subject area as per the columns which we have pressed c1 corresponding to this particular code and it is an inventory item id we don't want to show inventory item id so simply we will go to the report and we will remove c1 now we will go to c2 so we will see c2 this is a, a, a just a manual effort we need to put in order to get the correct alias name that's the only effort we need to put in this particular process as i say it is an item class name so we will copy the item class name and corresponding to c2 as an alias name we can give now we will go to c3 c3 corresponding code to c3 is this and this is a description we can call it item description as well so instead of c3 alias you can simply give description or you can modify the alias name as per the as per the user friendly way then we will go to c4 and then c5 so let's see c4 is this so it's an item status so i'll just modify the alias name as item status then we have c5 So you can see that c5 is not there now this is another lesson for us we in the main query there will be multiple columns but what all columns you would like to see we need to modify the call the query as per the requirement so i one more i one more column i am looking for is it's inventory item id description inventory item status organization id we had c1 which is inventory item id okay for example we will show the inventory item id <coughs> d1 dot c1 as inventory item id so now how to develop a bip report so we got the sql ready so the first step to develop any bip report is we should have a prepared sql query 
so now we already have the sql query we'll go and create the data model this is the data model we'll click on it SQL query for example we are checking VIP OTVI you can give any meaningful name you would like to give then source will be FSCM this is the query click on ok let's see what is the error in the query <coughs> So we don't need this. Let's debug the query for a minute and we will see what is the problem. So honestly, we don't need, th need this. We can simply give the column names. don't need any of it let's say and simply call c1 as 0 so even we can remove this column also we'll just keep the column of our interest and accordingly do the modifications Okay, it's one of the complicated way of touching the query because the query is really chaotic you need to really put your brain down brain up and then do the brainstorming as per the requirement of the report so i'm running the data model once so as i have already explained in my previous video how you can develop the vip report once the query gives the result you need to click on export and then accordingly generate the rtf template and register the report and run it so let's wait for 30 seconds and see what we get here so it's simple okay uh, as per whatever number of columns you have you need to decode their actual values in the entire query because in the back end uh, in which the OTVI report is using this query that they, they have given some aliases c1 c2 c3 c4 and then the, some certain complex scores but so you have to go in a reverse direction that c1 corresponding to this code and then this code corresponding to this particular column sometimes you'll have to come to this uh, sub query also that uh, in the in the form clause that okay this particular column belongs to organization id for example in this case also organization id 1596 is organization id if you see for example item class id1 is item class so there might be it's a similar name but there might be different name still it's all it's so in the uh, entire otbi report when you are taking out the sql query it's all about the alias name given you know, for each column so you need to just very carefully and patient with extreme huge patience you need to decode it and then you will be able to develop the perfect so you'll be able to develop the query as per your requirement and so we are good you need to click on view table export that uh, the xml and then generate the report and this is how you can simply convert an otbi report when you don't you have almost no time you can convert an existing otbi report into vip report 
the entire thing would be a slight play around with the query and then you need to create a corresponding template that's it thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you soon guys thank you do subscribe the channel